Okay, folks, this is the video um, of the Waterpik Nano setup. So after, just right after unboxing. So the model here includes what WP 250, 260, 270, 300, 305, 310. And um, I just quickly read through the instructions. So I'm just gonna show it to you really quick. So um, my whole combo comes with just one bag of water pick nozzle. Um, and one bag here contains six different types of sprayer I call it nozzle um, so you got some that has a brush um, not some but just one one of each um, and then two classic ones the normal ones you just spray water out and you got a different color um, scheme just so that you can distinguish between Hey, this one is mine, this one is yours. Um, and then there is, I don't know what this one is, I didn't read it. A special nozzle. And then this one, it has a caution, use pickpocket tips only on low pressure. So I think this kind of goes in between your gum line and your teeth, the bottom of your teeth. And you kind of scrape the gunk out of that gap and you spray water in it. So they just telling you, hey, use low pressure, don't kill your gums. So um, that means that sharing between two of these um, water picker, a uh, water flosser, you only got six of these. So not everyone can use all of them at the same time, but at least the two classic ones. And so, uh, so here it is. First, um, you get this out. This the water reservoir, and for me, I'm just gonna use distilled water because I will save the problem of, um, you know, cleaning it with uh, hot water due to hot water. And the suggestion is to use um, white vinegar and just kind of spray it and get rid of all the um, sodium deposits. So this fits after you put water in. It's that warm water. Stick it in here. You keep that um, reservoir valve in. They call it, yeah, reservoir valve. That is not a plug to unplug. No, don't pull it out. Keep that plug in there. And then this is the power switch on and off. And this is the the power, the pressure. The higher the number, the higher the pressure. And then you pick one of these um, nozzle spray. Take out the handlebar, stick it in there until you hear a click like this. And this is not a switch, okay? This is just to unlock and lock, unlock the, um, the nozzle. So now, put the water in there, you can just stretch it out and then you can start um, spraying. Of course, plug in the power. So that's a very simple setup. Simple. Um, only take me like five minutes to read through that thing. But this one doesn't have a lid. The nano one doesn't have a lid. So you don't want to keep water in here and walk away in a dusty area or you try to vacuum the floor and all these water get in, all your dust get into the water. So um then then let me turn it around. At the back here there is a um like another hole, I guess, to keep extra nozzle here. Like this. And when you're done, maybe you could want to, oh, this is difficult to pull, take out. Dry it, turn it around, store it like this. Yeah. And this is the travel bag. I would say this is only for the Nano. I don't think this is gonna fit the Evolution. Given the way size, yeah, it's a cube. So and it has a handle strap. So that's a pretty cool setup here. 
So that's pretty much it. I think the evolution is going to be a very similar setup. Um, they keep emphasizing using warm water, just making sure that, you know, I guess the water um, is not like not flushing out some dirt. And also the very first time you use it, keep it in high pressure and flush out all whatever gunk and particles out first and then turn it back on low when you start using it. All right, and here is the kind of setup initial prep for the nano um, water pick. And I hope this video is useful and helpful to you. Um, click a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.